Okay, so welcome back to Switch Corner and talk about an interesting one for you today. Levelhead on the Switch, it's a platformer with a heavy focus on building and sharing your own levels. Yes, this it's basically a budget Mario Maker, but can it do enough to elevate it out of well, let's face it, such a huge shadow. Well, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we do, join our growing family, and yeah, let's find out if this has what it takes. So story, and I'm gonna keep this one short, you're an employee for the Bureau of Shipping, the galaxy's premier package delivery company. With a reputation of being the very best, you're hired on to the level head division. Here, you essentially become a father to a droid here known as the GR18 model. Your role, train it for the job ahead by tackling levels or limited exercises for evaluating employee limitations. Story, it's for sure not taking itself too seriously, but thanks to a comprehensive 90 plus level training course, it allows them to add a lot of personality to the whole experience, alongside a great sense of humour through cutscenes that are introducing things like new enemy types and moves. It's really good stuff that delivers more than enough to bring this world to life. Gameplay then and it goes like this, take your GR18 droid, make your way across a level, pick up a package on the way and deliver it to the goal. Simple in idea, harder than it sounds in practice. First off with any platformer, it lives and dies by the quality and the responsiveness of its controls. And I gotta say here, they absolutely nail it, allowing for fluid movement, precision micro adjustments, and generally it just all feels very strong. So abilities and abilities wise for your character, we get more than a few to experiment with, but the main one, that's a grappling hook. And this, it accompanies the usual, you know, run and jump functions. This hook at first, it is basically simply for picking up and delivering the package. But quickly as you progress, you'll find it's going to be useful for things like picking up bombs. Uh, you're going to be able to propel yourself across the screen as well. It's a really interesting mechanic. Then on top of this, we also get suits. These provide their own unique skill sets. My two favorites, a ninja suit that allows you to cling to the walls and ceilings like think Spider-Man, and then one that gives you a teleport ability for short distances. The rest of the gameplay then, it largely does rely on the levels and worlds themselves. And this, I've gotta be honest, is where the creativity just fades a little bit and the copycat feeling begins. It just stumbles slightly. Springs though to bounce off, spikes to a fight, cannons to fire out of, so think identical to Donkey Kong, moving platforms, even the end goal flag here where you jump towards the top is clearly the Mario flag under a different skin. And overall I've got to say I failed to find the originality in the design of the levels that I found in the characters and the story. With that though, the levels they still work incredibly well and if you're going to mirror your influences, at least here they've done it right and chosen very very good ones. Especially when you factor in as well this is a team of just six, how many do you think were on the Mario Maker 2 team for a comparison? Level ahead then, let's talk difficulty because this, I've got to say, it's a very different beast compared to its bigger brothers. Starting of course easy and having options for difficulty so you, you shouldn't worry too much about this, but if you want level ahead to be it, this can be borderline sadistic, think like Super Meat Boy style. Sadly though, I will say not everything here is perfect and that's because of some of the level design, creating unwanted challenge through, I'd guess, poor implementation. It's largely rare, I will say, problems, but a few factors I experienced in my time with Levelhead, enemies appearing from nowhere, there was a moment when I had to fire myself out of a cannon through flames, but the problem was I couldn't see all the cannons on screen, so I couldn't get my timing right. There's checkpoints that register that you've connected with them, but if you forgot something, you have to backtrack, it's not gonna remember that next time you pass it and you'll do it every single time you restart. Start. Perhaps the biggest though, the worst one, the auto scroll screens. I hit the checkpoint at the very last second and then every time I restarted I was off screen already and would die in a split second. Now you may be thinking that's what you get when you play online, you know, people go out and create these troll levels. Unfortunately though, this was in the training mode itself. I mean, I got soft locked in the developer's own level. I appreciate the difficulty curve, but I think saving things like soft locks and that sort of difficulty it should be best reserved for the online arena only. 
Outside of this, then we do get four modes, training, marketing department, tower and workshop. Training, I gotta say, it's selling itself short with a name. It's a fully fleshed out experience with 90 plus levels. And yes, of course, it does introduce new mechanics, but it also gives you things like unlocks that you can use within your own level creation. But also there's tons of reasons to go back, speed runs, high scores, collectibles. I appreciate actually how deep this mode is and I think they may have titled it a little bit weirdly. Marketing department then is basically a testing ground for new online levels. Once submitted, they actually go here first, and if they get enough likes, then they proceed to what's called the tower. This is what I would say is basically the best of the best for online creations, as voted for by the community. In tower then, you also get the option to play collections of levels and face off against daily challenges. Thankfully, as with any good online creator like this, we also get a ton of filters here from difficulty through to tags that create a description. You can basically tailor the experience you are looking for, making it absolutely open to all audiences. Last up then the workshop and I'm going to put my hands up, I'm not the most creative when it comes to this sort of level building, but again overall great stuff. Working on a grid system like Mario Maker, it, it has everything you would expect from platforms, enemies, obstacles, switches, everything you could think of but also everything you see in the single player experience. Also I will say while docked works fine I would suggest the handheld for this this portion of the game. Using the touchscreen is just by far the best experience. No matter what mode you choose though with Level Ed, just know this, you can play this with up to four players locally. So one thing I will say I didn't enjoy with Level Ed, and that was the main menu. While it looks pretty, it's far from intuitive. Highlight buildings to make your selection, but some things are just kind of in weird locations. Like from the online menus, you can't search for levels with a code. You do this over on the left hand side of the screen for some reason. Sometimes traditional systems are in place for a reason, and I don't think this really adds anything to the game outside of causing honestly just more work. Gameplay look overall the controls extremely responsive they work perfectly also I gotta say it's impressive the amount of content we see here with such a budget price tag. Sadly though difficulty spikes down to design decisions and a poor menu implementation did let down the whole experience for me just a little bit and turned it from something fun into more kind of frustration. So graphically speaking, I really do like it. As bright and vivid platformers go, this one is up there with the best colors there everywhere. And I'm always a fan of going over the top on the color palette of choice. This as a design decision, very much appreciated. The menus and they kind of resemble to me like a Futurama vibe, which I really enjoy. Also though, this spills over then into the story mode and gives you like a star map that you're traveling as a world map. The theme they set out with with this one, they definitely maintain and the consistency is very strong. Levels and enemies then, I've got to say same thing. I really enjoyed them. I did find towards the end, it all got a little bit repetitive, but overall like it's all of a very high quality and I hope they have, you know, DLC and heavy support prepared for the future to keep this community alive. Problems graphically, there's only a couple really. A little bit more animation on certain obstacles would have been appreciated. For example, the cannons, you can't really tell when they're gonna be firing until like a split second before and like a warm up animation would have made things just a little bit easier to grasp. It all kind of became a counting game for me. I was counting the, the seconds between each fire. Then the interface, it's a little busy at times, honestly. There's a lot on screen with little explanation. And it took me a little while to figure out what all the different numbers meant, especially when looking in the corner of the train story mode. Overall though, look, I doubt very many of you are going to be disappointed. Budget game with pretty much like tier A visuals. Last up, audio and again very few complaints. Every sound effect you would expect is here from the suitably comical, like the enemies, the jump effects, to the music that sits somewhere between playerful and tense. On top of this then, voice acting for the commercials and you know just the, the education pieces like different moves, different like tactics. It was a nice touch, it brings across the game's sense of humour and very much matches the visuals in this weird little world. There's very little else to say about audio honestly. I enjoyed it all, it helped shape the personality of the game and and then when it comes to the level creator itself, you can even choose your own music. And I ended up actually going here just so I could listen to a few of the tracks. They hit all the right marks on the audio front. Overall, look, I know I've kind of said it a few times, but it's got a lot of copycat moments, this one. And it's for sure though, not trying to hide its influences, which I respect, you know, they, they've set out with a goal and they've definitely 
try to at least stand up next to your Mario's, your Donkey Kongs. I'll put it out there now, it's nowhere near that level, but for a first attempt, this is seriously impressive with a, a difficulty curve that's for sure going to kick your ass if you choose for it to be that way. Then on top of this, unexpected, but really nice visual and audio work as well. Issues, yeah, there's a few, there's the convoluted menus, the lack of some animations that would definitely have helped out, and occasionally that, that troll moment that led it more into frustration than fun, but overall, it didn't hold back my enjoyment. To me, seeing what the community has to offer right now thanks to its cross-play functionality, I actually foresee this one becoming more for the, the, the like hardcore audience out there who want the hardest of the hardest because, yeah, some of these levels just require painfully precise pixel perfect movement. Fortunately though, as I said, a wealth of search options mean you can also easily avoid these. A few adjustments though here and there, the checkpoints of the enemies off screen, and it would also remove the almost trial and error vibe I felt at times and elevate this one to something truly special. If you're a creator or simply a fan of a good platformer, I can strongly recommend this one and today I'm giving Leveled a great 8 out of 10. Very few will be disappointed with a level ahead and overall with crossplay functions as I mentioned for sharing levels and with the right support from the developers, this could quickly turn into an endless experience that's got a long life ahead of it. I'm really excited to see what the Switch community does with this one once they get the full release and just get to you know go crazy with it because yeah from the levels I've seen online already there's, there's, there's so many options. Thanks so much for watching, leave the video a like if we helped you out today, let me know what you think in the comments below, and yeah, if you're new here, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here, join our growing family, I'll see you all on the next video.